Patrick Mahomes is being compared to Brett Favre. And I want to start with this. There's a reason why Patrick Mahomes is not Brett Favre. Do you know what it is? It's interceptions. So far in 2018, Patrick Mahomes has 14 touchdowns and zero interceptions. Through four games, zero interceptions. Last night, I combed through every single one of Brett Favre's seasons. This is 1992, 1993, 4, 5, 6, 7, all through 2010 when he retired. Brett Favre never got through four games, the first four games of an NFL season, without an interception. Not once. In fact, it wasn't even close. Brett Favre never even got through the first three games of an NFL season without an interception. And we're talking, he threw three interceptions in game one in 1995, three interceptions in game one in 1999. In 2003, week one, he had four interceptions. We have not seen that type of play from Patrick Mahomes. I understand the comparison between Brett Favre and Patrick Mahomes. They have both incredible arm strength. They do things and make throws that you're like, whoa, I didn't know people could do that. It's, it's inhuman sometimes. But there is a big difference between Brett Favre and Patrick Mahomes, and it's the preparation. It's decision-making. This might sound kind of out there, but right now, I would rather have Patrick Mahomes than Brett Favre. Brett Favre once threw 29 interceptions in a season. I don't know that Patrick Mahomes is going to play like that his whole career. I don't think so. I don't see that coming from Patrick Mahomes. You know, I've been very cautiously optimistic about Patrick Mahomes. He had 13 touchdowns in the first three games of the year. I said, that's really impressive, but we got to see if it continues. What, how's Patrick Mahomes going to deal with adversity? How is he going to deal with struggling? Last night on Monday Night Football, Patrick Mahomes showed what he is. Last night against the Broncos, that's what I've been waiting for from Patrick Mahomes. He was very, very impressive. In fact, I was more impressed with Patrick Mahomes last night than when he had six touchdowns in one game. How do you deal with adversity? How did Patrick Mahomes handle being down 13 to 10 at halftime? Travis Kelsey, his favorite tight end, his best receiver maybe, had no catches in the first half. How do you handle adversity? Last night, Monday Night Football against the Broncos was just different. For the first time, he didn't have everything going for him. Patrick Mahomes was up 35 to 10 against the 49ers in week three. Against the Broncos, it wasn't like that. And here's what happened. Five minutes to go, Patrick Mahomes got the ball, down three points, and it was a massive, massive moment. This was Patrick Mahomes' moment to prove himself and he did he delivered and Patrick Mahomes didn't just deliver in the big moment he overcame massive massive obstacles just incredible what he did I mean first of all it's extremely loud in that Denver Broncos stadium it's it's one of the loudest places in the NFL to play but Patrick Mahomes first test came on third and five. Third and five Patrick Mahomes throws a left-handed pass to get the first down out of nowhere, he just pulls a left-handed pass out of his rear end. I'm like, what? I didn't know you could do that. But it gets even more interesting. Later, Patrick Mahomes is facing second and 20. For a lot of people, you get a holding call, second and 20 is insurmountable. He gets a nine-yard gain. Awesome. Back in business, third and 11, that's somewhat manageable, right? No, that was called back as well. And so now Patrick Mahomes was facing second and 30. Oh, and without any... Problem at all. He throws a 23-yard pass down the right sideline, sets up third and seven, and on third and seven, Patrick Mahomes threw a 35-yard completion to put the ball into the red zone. I'm sold. I, I, fine, I get it. it. It wasn't just the adversity. It wasn't just being down at halftime, coming back. It wasn't just the big moment. It was not only did he deal with the big moment, but things didn't go his way in the big moment, and he still overcame. He made things happen. His poise under pressure, his playmaking ability in the moment, it was unreal. Not to mention there's a history now of Patrick Mahomes delivering late in games. This is not the first time he's made something happen at the end of the game and not the first time against the Denver Broncos. Week 17 last year on the final drive, Patrick Mahomes took the Chiefs down the field. They scored the game winning field goal, won the game, beat the Broncos. And so now what do we have? We have a history of Patrick Mahomes delivering late in the game. He's, he can win from ahead. He can come back and win games. We're five games into Patrick Mahomes' career, and he's unbelievable. In fact, I, I do believe he's undefeated as a starter. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. 
And you can say, well, Jimmy Garoppolo has started 5-0 and last year, and he struggled this year. This is not Jimmy Garoppolo. I love Jimmy Garoppolo. I'm a big fan of Jimmy Garoppolo. I hope he succeeds. Patrick Mahomes is light years ahead of Jimmy Garoppolo. Not holding the ball too long, making big plays, not throwing interceptions, making better decisions, making throws that Jimmy Garoppolo couldn't dream of. Right now, we have Patrick Mahomes who has 14 touchdowns, zero interceptions in 2018, and he has an undefeated record. I took a chance early this year. I, be- I said I believed in Patrick Mahomes. And it looks like that was the right call. Believing in Patrick Mahomes, I won. I got it right somehow. But I mean, think about this. Five minutes left. With the ball, down three. Do you think Alex Smith, the former Chiefs quarterback, would have won that game? I don't think he would have. He certainly would not have thrown a left-handed pass on third and five. He would not have overcome second and 20. He would not have overcome second and 30. That 35-yard pass on third and seven, Alex Smith doesn't have that. I'm going to make this comparison all year. I hope, I, I hope at some point I move on, but I can't get over the fact that Chiefs took a big risk moving away from Alex Smith, and it's not only worked out. It has been the best thing the Chiefs could have imagined doing. Right now, Patrick Mahomes is the reason the Kansas City Chiefs are 4-0. It's impressive. It's wonderful. And, you know, I went from wondering, is this a, is the success going to continue? Because I've been optimistic, for cautiously optimistic for the past three weeks, saying it's really good right now, but let's see. Let's, hmm, hmm, it might, it might explode. It might, might go wrong. You never know. I have now shifted my mentality from cautiously optimistic to now I expect Patrick Mahomes to play at a very high level for the rest of his career. I, I expect it now. I expect him to continue this. And that's not to say he's not going to struggle. I guarantee you at some point the Kansas City Chiefs are going to lose a game. And at some point, Patrick Mahomes is going to throw an interception. But that does not mean you should panic. The first sign we get from Patrick Mahomes, oh no, he threw an interception. Oh no, they lost the game. They struggled a little bit. Have poise. Have patience. It's okay. Take deep breaths. Because I really believe Patrick Mahomes is a special player. Not saying he's not going to struggle. He's going to throw picks. He's going to lose a game. But don't overreact when the Kansas City Chiefs at some point lose a game this year. Remember, Brett Favre, the guy you keep comparing Patrick Mahomes to, would have had seven interceptions by now, four games into the year. Brett Favre had 29 interceptions in one season. So when Patrick Mahomes inevitably hits some kind of rough patch, don't give up on him. Because what we've seen in the first four games is a special player. In fact, his first five games, we've now seen Patrick Mahomes is a special quarterback. He's not only incredible at reading defense, he's not only incredible with his arm, his ability, every, it's not only incredible there. Mentally, up top, in the big moments, he is unfazed. And not only is he unfazed, he can overcome insurmountable obstacles. Things that most guys can't overcome. I watched the Dolphins on Sunday go from 1st and 10 to 1st and 20, and that was too much. They couldn't get 20 yards and get a first down. Patrick Mahomes is not fazed by that situation at all. Patrick Mahomes is a special quarterback. And again, because of the lack of interceptions, I would even go on to say, I would take right now Patrick Mahomes over Brett Favre. Call me crazy, but 14 touchdowns, no interceptions, incredibly efficient, and a huge arm. Right now, I would take Patrick Mahomes over Brett Favre like that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my show, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my pride and joy. I'm very proud of it. If you're new to Strong Opinion Sports, You can subscribe to it on iTunes, SoundCloud, on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, or you can find more shorter breakout videos like the one you just watched. And if you like what I had to say, maybe you hate what I had to say, share this with your friends. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about the show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Have a great day.